Welcome back to the Roundtable. I'm your host, Ostrich Vox. A few days ago, the episode title Room for Ruby was revealed on Credit Eric's website, but it lacked a synopsis. But going out the episode title alone, it was either going to be about Ruby and Sapphire and seeing Ruby's room, or the gems finally going to space and get the rubies back like they should have in the first place, those freaking morons. But today, thanks to the handy dandy Geekery, and again, if you don't follow the Geekery, do it. Bookmark their page, follow them on Twitter. They get official press releases for Steven Universe before anybody else. So they always know it's on the up and up. That being said, what is the synopsis for Room for Ruby? Straight from the Geekery, Friday, March 10th, Room for Ruby, Steven's gem family continues to grow. So what does it exactly mean? Now that it's almost seemingly confirmed that the rubies will be coming back from space and will be getting redeemed, what is going to persuade them to join the Crystal Gems? Well, I've said it before, but I'll reiterate. Jasper. The rubies had a strong admiration for Jasper. Now that Jasper's corrupted, the rubies will want to help her. They'll want her to be healed. And to pull the photo I used in the last video, there's an image of the voice actress for Steven, Peridot, Lapis, and Ruby. Seems like the pieces are falling in place. And personally, I can't be any more excited. I've slowly been turning away from Steven Universe and gravitating towards Star vs. Forces of Evil, and I'll get the Star Crush review out soon, guys. But this, followed by Lion 4, may completely change my tune. Now, a common criticism I see Steven Universe is, why does every antagonist have to get redeemed? Well, first, Peridot's really the only antagonist who got quote-unquote redeemed or turned to a good guy. Lapis was never necessarily an antagonist. She just wanted to go home. And when she went home, she wasn't really welcome there. So ultimately, in order to live her life and not be treated so cruelly by Homeworld, she didn't have a choice but to go to Earth. As for the rubies, they ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. And as we've seen from High Blue Agate, Homeworld probably doesn't value them very much. So it's not like they have a strong reason to be loyal. But above all else, isn't that kind of how the Crystal Gems were formed in the first place? Homeworld Gems? turning on the diamonds, and aligning with Rose Quartz? We all know Steven Universe is not a stranger to parallels, and people are always saying Steven needs an army to fight Homeworld, so I don't understand why people are annoyed when we have antagonists become good guys, especially when those antagonists weren't so bad in the first place. But if you are watching and think that antagonists shouldn't get redeemed in the show, that antagonists shouldn't go from Homeworld to the Crystal Gems, let me know why. Comment down below. Let's get discussion going. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, it really helps us out. Follow us on social media, links to everything in the description down below. Ostrich Vox, signing out. This video has been powered by Patreon. If you want to give us some more support, head to patreon.com slash roundtablevids, become a patron, and get some awesome perks. Thanks for watching another video on the Roundtable. If you want to get more involved for our community and watch videos from Let's Talk of Tom, Voxbox, and more, click the video right here. Or if you want to get some more of the animation goodness, watch some Crystal Clear or Mini Monday, click the video right here. And please, don't forget to subscribe.